Miss Gella again. I am so excited to be continuing reading Spider Bots Rising. This is chapter four, AB 20096104 And before we actually begin reading, I want you to think about the title of this chapter. Do you think this is a fitting title? Keep that in mind. And at the end of the chapter, go ahead and write down your thoughts or share it with a friend. Here we go. This is chapter four. Chuck and the dream seeker walked back out of the vision court in silence. They were both trying to imagine the adventure they were about to undertake. It would be exciting, but it was also sure to be dangerous. They stepped back into the busy activity of the dwell outside. The same whirl of color and sound surrounded them, but it all looked different to the dream seeker now. All of these creatures and dreams depended on her. All of this life and joy could crumble to nothing if the spider bots weren't stopped. She had a purpose, a mission. She only hoped that she could live up to it. She looked down at the compass again. Now that she could look at it more closely, she noticed something strange. Odd markings were carved around the face of the compass. Instead of pointing towards north, south, east, and west, it only showed four small symbols. The dream seeker didn't recognize any of them. They weren't letters or numbers, at least not in any language she knew. They looked like dancing snakes trapped in silver. Hello, paging dream seeker. Come in, dream seeker. Anybody home in there? What? The dream seeker looked up. Chuck was snapping his fingers on either side of her helmet, trying to get her attention. That gizmo put you in a trance or something? He asked, raising a wiry eyebrow. No, sorry, she replied. I've just never seen anything like it. From what the council said, I feel like I should know how to use it, but I don't. Not yet, at least. And the dream seeker slipped the compass into her chest pocket. They started walking down a quiet alley, away from the vision core and the crowds. After a few steps, the alley quickly melted into a narrow dirt path. Milky rainbow ice cream waterfalls poured down on either side of them. Yeah, that brings me to my first point, Chuck said. Where exactly are we supposed to start this goose chase? The council was a bit fuzzy on the details. He slid a finger into the ice cream and popped it into his mouth. I don't know, the dream seeker said, thinking. I guess we should start by trying to find the spider bots, find out where they're going after the raids. Blech, creepy crawling, metal-headed little weirdos. They give me a real bad case of the pukies, Chuck shivered. Those spider bots have been hitting dwells all over the dreamscape. How the heck are we supposed to know where to find them? Just then, a large dark shape came crashing out of the waterfall on their left. It rolled to a stop in front of them, dripping in mint chocolate chip. It was a fully grown spider bot. The next thing the dream seeker knew, Chuck was on top of it, flailing wildly, he struggled to pin all its legs down. Hello. Fluffy rabbit, came a muffled robotic voice from under Chuck's foot. Please do not, please not, please not with the biting. I hate the biting. Must you twist my cables? The bot's flat voice came in jolts and starts. It stuttered on certain letters, but it didn't attack Chuck. It didn't seem to be fighting back at all. Chuck, however, was still in full swing. Why, why, Otter? Chuck bellowed, raising one fuzzy fist. Chuck! The dream seeker yelled. Hang on! Just cool it for a second. She stepped toward the spider bot, watching it carefully. Its sensors rotated towards her. A glob of ice cream slid slowly down its face. Where are the others? She asked. Oh, what others? Came the spider bot's timid reply. The other bots, she said, taking another step towards it. Is this some kind of ambush? I've never seen a bot on its own in the center before. Then you have never seen me. Uh, I do not travel with the other bots. I am not like them, it said. Oh no, Chuck sneered. That's a new one. There ain't never been a spider bot that wasn't just like every other spider bot. 
That's how they are. A bunch of clones who all act like jerks. Every last one of them. S -s -s Sorry you feel that way, rabbit, the spider bot said. You are not so fuzzy on the inside, I guess. What do you mean you're not like the other bots? The dream seeker asked. I was built the same, but I was different. I have a gl gl glitch. The other bots did not like me, did, did not trust me. So I, I left. I have been on my own since then, r r right here in the center, it said. The dream seeker felt something warm against her chest. The compass, it was giving off a gentle heat. You're not actually buying this, are you, boss? Chuck asked. He was still sitting on top of the bot, holding it down. He looked at the dream seeker in disbelief. Come on, these spideys are goaded to lie. They're all thieves. You can't believe a word they say. The dream seeker thought he was wrong. She didn't know why, but something about the spider bot's words rang true. Though she wasn't sure, she felt like the compass was agreeing with her. What's your name? The dream seeker asked. My sister's serial number is AB2009614084. The spider pot replied. But you can call me Abby. Who cares what it's called? Chuck roared. Let's tie it up. Let's force it to lead us to its little friends. Let's get what we need and get away from it. The dream seeker crouched down to the spider bot's eye level, ignoring Chuck. Abby, she said, do you know what the other bots are up to? Do you know what they're planning? No, her red sensor stimmed a little, but whatever it is, it will not be g g good. I have heard about the new raids. I fear for the dreamscape, for the center. The spider bots seek power. It is what they most want, always. Who would know? Chuck muttered. Abby sensor slid up again. You wear a scape suit, she said. You are a dream seeker. You will try to stop them, correct? Let me help you. I want to help you, please. The center is my home, not with them. The dream seeker looked hard into the bot's metallic face. Could she really trust a spider bot to help them? Oh no, Chuck began sliding off Abby's back and shaking his head. His ears flopped back and forth. No, 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 no way, no how, buddy. Absolutely not. Nope, nay, never, nix. The compass glowed warm against the dream seeker's chest again. She'd made her decision. Welcome to the team, Abby. I can't promise this mission will be fun or even safe, but it'll definitely be interesting. And that is the end of chapter four. Oh my goodness. A spider bot? is helping our dream seeker? What are your thoughts on that? Again, think about that title of the chapter. Do you think it was fitting? Why or why not? And I have another challenge for you. Let's think of our main character, the dream seeker so far. What are some character traits that you can identify? If you have a friend with you, feel free to share with them or you can write them down. I will see you all next time.